Question 22. Looks like some sort of pie chart. It says, a shop sells books, CDs and DVDs. This pie chart shows the sales of each in one week. So as you can see, books is the most popular section. DVDs is slightly smaller and CDs is kind of the middle size section. Let's scroll down and see what we've got to do. It says, estimate the fraction of the total sales that were DVDs. So we're interested in DVDs so far. Right, now let's have a look. If we try splitting it into quarters, which would be a nice easy fraction to do, you can see that actually DVDs is quite a bit less than a quarter. So it's probably not going to be a quarter that they're looking for. It goes without saying that halves isn't going to work either because it's a lot less than a half. So we've tried quarters, we've tried halves, what about thirds? We split the whole pie chart into roughly three sections. Again, DVDs is too small to be a third. So let's try fifths. Now, fifths is a little bit more difficult to draw. But you, what you've got to try and do for fifths is imagine almost like a star shape. Like this. Okay, at the side. So let's try and do that sort of star shape. So, actually, you can see that if I draw a star inside the pie chart, then DVDs is a pretty good fit for that. So because my star is splitting it into five equal pieces, DVDs must be about one fifth. And it does say estimate the fraction. So it may not be exactly a fifth, but it's the best estimate that I've got so far. So I'm going to say that DVDs is about one fifth. And that's the first part of the question done. Second part of the question. It says, in this week, 200 CDs were sold. Estimate how many books were sold. So I've got 200 CDs. Let's go back to the pie chart. Let's rub out all those markings so we've got a bit of extra space to play with. Now, CDs is 200, and that is this size of the pie chart. So what I need to do is I need to work out how many sections of roughly that size will I be able to fit in the book section. And the easiest thing to do is just start drawing sections on that are roughly that size. So if I draw a line down here, these two sections are roughly the same size, so that's another 200. Then draw a line up here. These two sections are roughly the same size. So that's another 200. And you can see that the final section in books is, a, is roughly the same size again. So that's another 200. So if CDs is 200, all I need to do now is count up my, my other sections. So I've got a, one lot of 200, a second lot of 200, a third lot of 200. So, altogether, three lots of 200 are 600. So that, again, is an estimate. So my estimate for how many books that were sold, I'm going to put 600. Both of these questions are estimates. So you don't need to lose any sleep over the fact that you may not be exact. An estimate is just a rough, educated guess. So that's it.